Too many links. Too many freelancer stories have been lost. Find them and bring them home. Their sacrifices won't be forgotten. Their deeds should burn bright. Very bright. You hear me? I hear you. The site ahead has not been tended to. You will change that. A freelancer died here. Others came to finish his work. Some remain. Strong alone, stronger together. Clear out any unwelcome visitors. They are unfit to dwell here. On it. Myself. Sweep the vermin away!
many freelancer stories have been lost. Find them and bring them home. Their sacrifices won't be forgotten. Their deeds should burn bright. Very bright. You hear me? I hear you. This site ahead has not been tended to. We will change that. A freelancer died here. Others came to finish his work. Some remain. Strong alone, stronger together. Clear out any unwelcome visitors. They are unfit to go here. Obviously.
Here was found. Looks like helmets. We need to get the rest. They will keep coming, believe me. Focus on retrieving all that they stole. Very important. Got a link here. I knew it! They are stealing links. Why? Makes no sense. stories posted back at the fort. Most went to Freemark, to the Grand Wall. After the Heart of Rage, we started again in Fort Tarsus. So you lost all those stories in Freemark? Yes, we lost much of our history. Asphalt, we stand before the resting place of Legionnaire Artinia. Guardian of the Lord, you have been judged and found wanting. How did they know to come here? How? Found it. A monument. I made it myself. 
I have not been able to visit for some time. I wanted to see it again. For a freelancer. He did great things. So stubborn. <laughs> but come, bring me the links you recovered. Their stories will be written. That's what I heard. The whole thing is gone. Trouble at the graves, eh? Yeah. Outlaws. The links you recovered. Priceless to me, but... Wouldn't buy a hot meal? <laughs> Nor a bottle of Fortuo brew. Ah, so much history destroyed when the Grand Wall in Freemark fell. Who we lost, what they accomplished. That last grave I visited. A friend. He never came home. I made that marker for him. For now, I have many stories to write and glasses to raise. I've got this. You can go be... Lancery, and I'll cipher like no one has ciphered before. Hi, Freelancer. What's up? Saving the world. Uh, uh... Never mind. Rhetorical question. Sorry, I'm a little cranky. Strider full of rations and batteries I ordered was jumped by regulators. Were there any casualties? No. Managed to save them all. Thanks for asking. That's something good, at least. Yeah. I just wish... <laughs> I mean, I was born here. Fort Tarsus used to be great. People used to look down on the fort because it wasn't Antium or Fremark. But I think it was better. But you were a kid. Exactly. My brother Kismet and I used to climb that scaffolding just to watch the Striders come and go. Then the market would fill up with happy people and cool things to buy. It even seemed sunnier. Hmm, might be my imagination. Though it was before the Heart of Rage. So, poor Fort Tarsus. It's kind of a crap heap now. Not sure why I keep coming back. It 
It's hard to give up on home, even if you should know better. You're right. Does that make me foolish? Is it okay if I don't answer that? Huh. Well, everything I own is on the other side of these doors. It looks like I'm stuck here. But you should save yourself. Okay. Good luck. I'm Freelancer Johnny, by the way. See you around. Ah, Freelancer. I'm finishing up a few stories for the wall. This a bad time? No, no, good time. <laughs> the task is better with company. This is not the Grand Wall of Freemark, but it's a good start. Why do you do this? The wall, the stories, all of it? For the history books? <laughs> I'm not that vain. Well, not about these things. You never saw the Grand Wall, eh? Oh, people came from every corner of Bastion to see it. They read our stories. They believed in us. People haven't changed. They'll see the work being done and come around. Of course they will. <laughs> uh, what is it? My friend, the one I lost, I can hear him doubting us both. He could be a stormy sky. Ah, but I could make him laugh, huh? You said he was a freelancer? Yes, Garnet. Freelancer Garnet. I helped him pick that call sign, you know. It fit. He had a bad start, but survived it all. Oh, tough, that one. But one rainy day, he didn't come home. What happened? I don't know. Not all of it. Not where he fell. You see, I have his name, but not his story. This pains me. He was beyond the wall making things better. The details don't matter. Of course, of course. I know this. Just... It pains me. Someone was counting on him to be there. And he was. That is why I send you out there to pay your respects. To gather stories for our wall. Maybe one day, you bring his story back. Had some visitors in today. New to Lord Dark. Patching in Sentinel Bryn. Freelancer! Hello again. 
Sentinel Bryn here. I... Hi again, Sentinel. How are you? Fine, fine. The Ark in space isn't far from your location. Keep an eye out for scars. Will do. Uh, since this is our first mission, maybe we should talk, get to know each other? No, let's not. I'll let you know when you're close to the base. All right.
Scars must have taken whatever the Arcanists were studying. <laughs> Probably. They're such pests. We've seen Scars gather in an area not far from you. Check there. You got it. This is more Scar activity than I've seen in a long time. And I thought no one else had noticed. They're everywhere lately. They're not even people. Just gross monster things ruining stuff wherever they go. Tell me how you really feel, Brett. your team discovered where the scars have been gathering. Look around for that missing Arcanist machinery. And for whatever else they might be working on. Watch out for scars while you're at it. <laughs> Not much around except broken sheep or bits. No signs of Arcanists. We'll keep looking. Scars are hiding a stockpile. It'd be somewhere creepy like this. Any advice? Eliminate them and find it. <laughs> Blunt, but fair.
scars in the area. We're not done yet.
Hi there, it's me. Owen? We need to chat. It's important. Meet me in the bar. Okay, I'll be there. Owen? Huh. Looks like this is your lucky day. Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived strider ambushes, dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. 
I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Helios when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water. But there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. Why were you the only survivor? If I'd have shared that water, nobody would have lived. So you chose to let five people die to save yourself? I told you, I'm a pragmatist. I guess that's why you're the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. Don't you judge me. You've seen death. You've done things. I can see it in your eyes. It's usually a glint of sadness or knowledge, but in some people, that glint turns into a gleam. And a gleam means they want to see more death. Be careful, freelancer. I still see a glint in your eyes. What's up? What are you talking about? You called me, mate. No, you... Oh, hold on a second. The Monitor is leading a mission back into the Heart of Rage. He wants to weaponize the Cenotaph. We decrypted the archive you recovered from the Regulator camp earlier, and we know why he's after unique Shaper relics. Doesn't mean he'll succeed. Did you know the Monitor was there when the Dominion attacked Freemark? One of the few who escaped when the Cenotaph leveled the city. Oh, shit. He's ruthless, driven, and savage. An incredibly powerful cipher and a brilliant pilot. He frightens even his own people. The storm will tear him apart. No one survives the heart of rage. <laughs> you did. The intel also reveals that he's perfected a way to harness the power of the Cenotaph. And we cannot let that happen. Obviously. I need you to find a way through the heart of rage. Get to the Cenotaph first and silence it. Do what freelancers do. Do what freelancers do? You're talking about a bloody cataclysm. He's right. We aren't equipped to take that on. <laughs> of course. Well, I can think of others who survived the heart of rage that day, who never let it go, studied it. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to know this one. My old partners, Alec and Faye. Intel says the Monitor is on their trail. It suggests Faye has found something important. Last known location. Oh, I can. <clears throat> so, Halleck and Faye. Intel says your partnership ended badly. I don't know, we just kind of grew apart. Really? Because I heard that Halleck never forgave you for pulling him out of that storm and Faye went... <laughs> Where are we going? All right. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. No, Halleck and Faye are working with Princess Zim. The regulator boss? Oh, please, she's a smuggler at best. She's a full-fledged crime lord at worst. We really need them. To get through the Heart of Rage and beat the Monitor to the Cenotaph? Yeah, we need them. Do we? You and I? We're such a solid team already. Of course. That's why Tassin picked us. You got my back, I got yours. All right. Hey, considering that the Monitor is both Lancer and Cypher, we could probably use... A very fabulous cipher javelin pilot combo of our own. Owen, be patient. Pilot lessons are going fine, but seriously, it might take you years. Okay. You know what? This might be fun. Apparently, Princess Zim's camp is like a traveling carnival. Now, it's a traveling carnival run by bloodthirsty gangsters oh, who like gifts. So you need to get us something to get in. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Freelancer in the bar. You're looking at me like you want something. What is it? Uh, nothing. I wasn't trying to... Then point your damned peeper somewhere else. Hmm. 
No need to get mean. Just thought it looked like you'd use a friend. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry that was uncalled for. You know, I wasn't always like this. I had a bake shop. Made Antium-style bread, the way my mother did. Then my grain supplier stopped shipping Antium grain up north. I tried substitutions, but nothing was right. Got harder and harder to keep my doors open, so I stopped trying. You can't give up. We don't survive out here by giving up. When you run out of bullets, do you keep fighting? Or do you take your losses and run? I could have kept going until I had nothing left. That's not how we survive. We survive by knowing when to stop. That's not always true. It's true for now. Look, I appreciate the talk, but I'll be fine. Still have some savings. Just need to figure something out. I'll leave you to it. Hello? Like I said, you won't get to see Princess Zim without bringing gifts. Yeah, I've marked locations where we'll find something that should work. Tribute for a princess, huh? It'll give me time to meet you there. Wait, what? You think I'd miss the reunion with your mates? I hitched a ride on a smuggler strider. Owen. It'll be fine. Uh, wait, one of them's coming. Back in a sec. Okay, I'm borrowing this strider jacket of mine. Crammed in with smuggled rabbits. It's not safe out here. Safe gets boring. It's time for a freelancer adventure. You'll see. Some scars in the area stole weapons from Princess Sim. Getting back for her could be a good icebreaker. They're gonna put up a fight, though. Scars even know what to do with guns. They're just a bunch of 
Zim's merry band of smugglers. Of course, they probably sell them first, but it will score points with Zim if we get them back. Well, after you take care of the walking bugs. bit of tribute for the princess location marked you're looking for an ursix uh why princess sim loves to throw a good party i hear grilled ursix is a favorite dish Scars will eat the rest. Ah, good, we got it. One slab of Ursix ready to serve. Fresher the better. Now let's deliver it. I've marked the location for Princess Sim's hideout. Stride is approaching Zim's place. Now, before this reunion kicks off, do you really think Halleck and Faye will help? We're all professionals. Yeah, and I've seen professionals beat each other silly. It won't be like that. The stakes are too high. Let's hope. If the Dominion harness the Cenotaph, bad blood will be the least of our worries.
I've managed to sneak in. How? I hid in the grabbit cage. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my proudest moment. If the regulators catch you? Yeah, it's not a problem. This place is one giant party. I'll see you inside. Some friends of mine? They're working with Princess Zim. What did you bring? Tribute for Her Royal Highness. Hmm. It's adequate. You can go inside. How was the trip? Well, the trip, oh, it was fabulous. Yeah, I just love hitching a ride on a smuggler strider. It was first-class comfort all the way. Behold the wonders of the palace. All hail Princess Zim. Long may she reign. <laughs> they do know that she is not a, uh, a real princess, right? She's just a crazy smuggler with delusions of grandeur. You scoped this place out yet? What, you think I went in there alone? Are you crazy? No, I've been standing here waiting for you. Besides, it's your friends we're looking for. <laughs> Let's go find Halleck and Faye. Right, come on. Hey, is that them over there? Oh, pleasure doing business, Princess. Our business is not yet completed. No? I thought we had a... deal. Who is this, Haluk? No one. An old friend. Please, invite your old friend over to join us. Uh, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. No. First, we celebrate our new partnership in the tradition of my people. Come, closer, friend of Haluk. Scorpid and Stinger, highly acidic, is going to burn going down. A lot. Um, you know, I had a big breakfast. Refusing a meal is a grave insult to your host. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy. Forgive my ignorance, Princess. I didn't know people could eat this. I come from a harsh and unforgiving land. Plants are scarce. Animals even more so. Before the Dominion conquered us, we had a saying. Food is life. Life is struggle. We understood that. We embraced it. It helped make us strong. Oh. Thanks for the meal, Princess. That was just the appetizer. The main course. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Behold. The pheromone sack of a young Manticar, cured for an entire year in a vat of fermented chimera venom. A rare delicacy I have been saving for a special occasion. After you, Princess. 
I could not dishonor myself by eating while my guests go hungry. I love Manticar. <laughs> Our deal? Be sure to thank your friend, Haluk. Oh, you... you look a little green. Just need to sit down for a second. What do you want? I think what he meant to say was thank you. I have a contract. A contract? Well, we don't need your charity. Excellent. Faye, Halleck, this is Owen. Cypher? And Lancer in the making? Corvus sent me. Corvus? Huh. Are you some kind of a hotshot now? You got a lot of nerve after all this time. Quit being dramatic. Sit down. I'd rather stand. Let's all go back to the Strider. I'll explain. We got our own thing going. Thanks, but no. Wait. Something's not right. Keep your friends safe. Don't worry about me. I'll see you there. Give me credit for a few of them. 
Woo! <laughs> what a rush! <laughs> I mean, I'd say we really took it to the Dominion back then, right? And I think we'll agree that I was, I was pretty fantastic. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? That was a disaster. You were a disaster. Never do that again, please. Right. I'll just, uh, I'll just head to the amplifier. Over here. Nothing's changed. Thought you probably at least painted or something. The corrosion adds a nice patina. Should we talk about the weather next, or have we fulfilled our quota for small talk? I don't think there's a penalty for going over. Read any good books lately? Thousands of them. It's been a long time, you know. It's good to see you again. Is it? You're not just here because you need something. It doesn't matter. You're back. I'm still picking up a lot of Dominion radio chatter, but we're losing sight about the sewers. Oh no, sorry, why have we stopped? Oh, ay, ay, ay. Damn it all to hell. Alec, you still haven't replaced that actuator? It's still good. And shut up. I got this. Yep, off to a great start. Where's my socket wrench? Left in the box, as usual. Never thought you'd be back here. Life's just full of surprises. Switching off starboard power before it overloads. Oh, come on. That's just half the fun. Can we please hurry this up? They will be on top of us any minute now. Pliers! What are you doing here? I'm helping you fix this garbage actuator. Again. More reliable than some. So what's this contract of yours? Can we please chat later? The Dominion will be here any second. One, please. This is important. Just, you're not helping. Screwdriver. Which one? Use your words. Three aids, obviously. I'm going back to the heart of rage. Really? The Dominion wants the Cenotaph. Corvus hired me to get it first. Well, that explains why Dominion troops showed up at Sims. Faye, light us up. <clears throat> Faye and I have two years of research and legwork on this. And you want what? Jump in the end and claim credit? Halleck, time is of the essence. We have a lead that requires a Lancer right now. Shouldn't we work together? No! I can handle it. You've got the Dominion on your back, and you don't think that maybe you could use a hand? We could find someone else. You go right ahead, mate. Not in time, we can't. You need me, and I can't finish this contract without you.
One job. Just one. I got a strider to drive. You said you have a lead? We might. One moment. As expected. Hold these, please. You found something. About the cenotaph or the heart of rage? Zim did. Pays to have friends, you know. <laughs> Some friends. I'm sure you've heard of the Legion of Dawn, General Tarsus. What? General Tarsus? Yeah. She entered the last heart of rage and reached the center. The cenotaph. How? I've done the research. Her javelin could do the impossible. It had unique shields and who knows what else. Wait, you, you think you found her armor? The original Javelin of Dawn? Yes, finally. Now we just need to go get it. Interested? Well, personally, I can't wait to see it. Just give me whatever intel Her Highness had and let's get the expedition started. No need. I'll be supporting this mission. I've already done all the relevant research. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Freelancer, I trust your reunion with Halleck and Faye was productive. There are a few less Dominion who will be bothering us. Always good. So what's the next step? The tomb of General Tarsus. They think her original javelin is still there. I'll assume it's for more than just a historical tour? Faye says that javelin could get us into the heart of rage. Then I'm glad I could bring old friends back together. Well, we're still getting, um, reacquainted. Make it work. In the meantime, Corvus has other jobs that might interest you. You know me. I'll take any job I can get. These aren't your usual run-of-the-mill contracts. They're tough. I can handle it. Then talk to my agent, Sev, for a full briefing. He's in the bar. Or rush in, if you want. I know that's more the freelancer style. Whichever the case, keep up the good work. See me when you have a minute. We've got a complication. Here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement.
Hey, buddy. You're getting it done out there. You saying that in general, or...? <laughs> Owen's quick to brag. Not that you haven't earned it, right? I couldn't do this without Owen. Keep it up and they'll be talking about us all over Bastion. You're raising our name. We're getting more offers. I've started color coding the ledgers. It's beautiful. What about you? Any exciting jobs? Well, besides paperwork? Remember that job my buddies and I took? Dealing with local wildlife. How'd it go? We fly out to where there's been reported attacks. The fort sends word they lost contact with some sentinels nearby. It's quiet. No one's saying it, but we haven't seen this patrol, and we're all thinking it. Please tell me this has a happy ending. <laughs> You're in luck. We find the sentinels backed into a cave. They're surrounded by scorpions. We start to divide and conquer. This sentinel rookie with a cracked faceplate mentions they've got explosives. I keep the scorpions away while he sets it up. I don't know what happened, but we get a fire instead of a boom, so I yell, work with it. Next thing I know, we've got the sentinels back and the rookie's explaining to Vool why he's down half an eyebrow. Now that's one to remember. Wouldn't have done it without your tie-breaking vote. Something tells me the job would have been interesting either way. You never know, eh? Hey? <laughs> Guess not. See you around, Jack. Hey, buddy. Going well out there? Thank you for coming to see me. You said there was a complication? What's happened? I took a look at the intel Zim gave us. It's no good. She promised us one location. She delivered five. Well, all right. That's, uh, unexpected. Zim's data is a fragment of text from the legionnaire Leah Trell the Unbroken. She was the general's right hand and, according to legend, the one who laid Tarsus to rest. The text mentions guardians and four tombs that must be visited to find the Javelin of Dawn. The data's barely readable. I'll try to get more out of it while you and Owen look for these tombs. Right. Send me the locations. I'll check them out. Ah, it's you. Good. There's trouble. Got a distress call from a freelancer, okay? In bad shape. What happened? Don't know. A strider is stuck out there. Got passengers. Like I said, bad. If a freelancer calls for help, we answer. Got it. Go. Find what you can. You tracked down Howlett, yeah? Oh, wonderful. Great. So wonderful. Hey, what's up? You called me. I did. Do you have time for chats? Or, I don't know, do you have to run off and find Faye? You're mad. No, no, no. Just having a little fun. Would you tell me if you were mad? Of course. We're friends. Glad to hear it. You said so. But anyway, I'm not mad. Maybe I'm the one that should be mad after that stupid stunt you pulled. Stunt? Stealing. Borrowing. Borrowing that javelin. Come on. A couple of hiccups, but overall a successful run. Tactically solid, and it all turned out great in the end. Tactically solid? Come on, it was a mess. You were lucky I was there. That's fair, but you have to give me some points for ballsiness. Since it all turned out? Yeah, points for sheer overconfidence. It was fun, though. Wasn't it? And you? You were something else out there. Smashing Dominion left and right? You're fantastic. You know, Owen, I'm never quite sure when you're being straight with me. Ha! <laughs> we'll start with probably not. It's safer that way. Come on. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Did you always want to be a cipher? I never wanted to be a cipher. It wasn't my choice, but I have the gift. I was one of six kids. It made sense. Parents saw it as an opportunity. Except they didn't tell me. Just dropped me off. My dad was crying, but I didn't know why. Where was your mother? Jail. We were poor, but I guess she was a thief, really. How old were you? Eight. The 
chance to be a cipher is pretty special. Sure. I can see where it all makes sense. I just wish they'd asked me, you know? And what changed in you when you became a cipher? What? You mean besides the feeling that the people I love could be one step from abandoning me for my own good? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm kidding. You meant the thing where every cipher is a little broken. What's my broken bit? Nothing important. Doesn't matter. In the end, a cipher can hear the anthem. Hear it. The music of the gods. Who wouldn't give up almost anything for that? You? Oh no, I would. Anything. Anyone who says different is a liar. Got a minute to talk? Unless you're suited up for a mission, I've got all the time in the world. Honestly, I'm surprised you agreed to take the job from Corvus after everything. If the Dominion weren't here to put the pressure on, I probably wouldn't have agreed. But you did. None of the other freelancers would even consider trying again. Have you kept in touch with anyone else? I tried to, at first. But most of the survivors wanted to forget they had ever been freelancers. The ones who stuck around did not appreciate my interest in going back to the Heart of Rage. What made you so determined to go back in? There's still so much I want to understand about the storm, the anthem, and what went wrong. You really think you'll find answers? Does it matter? The world is filled with mysteries, chasing the solutions. That's where the fun is. Looking forward to the solution, not getting hung up on failure. I envy that. That's why you left, isn't it? You got sick of dwelling on the past. I can't blame you. You needed to get out there and chase something you couldn't see. It means a lot to hear you say that. I came here from Antium back in the day. Can you imagine? Beautiful, civilized Antium. To the frontier. Because I wanted to see what's out here through a Lancer's eyes. Well, I can probably handle being your eyes out here. I know you didn't really want to do this. Any of this, but I'm glad you're here, even if you're not. Halleck, hey there. Are we on speaking terms? Depends on what you have to say. How about we start by breaking the ice? It's been two years. What happened? Our people go their separate ways. Bad day in the heart of rage. You forgot about it. Faye and I didn't. Simple as that. We came out alive. Figured every hour after that was a gift, so... Why brood? Who says I'm brooding? Well, when's the last time you put on the suit? Oh, no, no, no. You don't get to show up out of nowhere and start interrogating me. So how about this? Outside the job, we're just too... I don't know. Long-lost cousins getting to know each other again. See what happens. All right. We start fresh. <laughs> well, some of us are 45 years old, so fresh is being kind. Maybe I'm your uncle. Maybe we'll even be friends. Sure, kid. As long as we're pretending. But on the job, don't think I'll go easy on you. Look who's come around. Looking sharp, big star. Hi. Feeling better? Yes, indeed. Flying high. What have you been up to? Freelancing. Always freelancing. And some shady business. Shady business? Oh, yeah. A sorry tale of woe, my glamorous friend. You want to hear it? I'm all ears. See? This is why I like you. You understand that when adventure comes knocking, you open the damn door. It's chapter one of the Freelancer Handbook. There's sexy danger, sexy bad choices, probably more sexy danger. Tell me what happened. I found myself in a game of chance with some dubious regulator types. Not the good kind. These were real knee breakers. In hindsight, it probably wasn't a good idea. How'd you end up there? They asked. Who knows? What did I have to lose? A boring afternoon? <laughs> Nothing wrong with diving in, right? Sexy danger. Anyway, this game, 
I kind of bet my javelin suit. You did what? I was confident I had the winning hand. Let me guess. Sexy bad choice? Affirmative. Turns out my cards were crap. Yeah. Ouch. Things got pretty ugly. So you lost your suit? Not yet. They gave me a deadline to deliver it. So I was sitting here, trying to figure out what I should do. See if they want to do a trade. Instead of your suit, they might take something else. Well, I don't know. Maybe. They're smugglers. They'll bargain for sure. Yeah, you're right. I'm out there running across all kinds of valuable stuff. It has to be something they want. They'll get it. They're interested in profits. That's what you're offering. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'll talk to you later. I hear the Legionnaires' tombs won't open for just anyone. You need to prove yourself worthy by completing their trials. Good timing. We just got some excellent new stuff. Thanks for checking out my shop. No problem. We've got stuff that can turn a good javelin into a great javelin. Maybe. I'm listening. What do you have? Only the finest selection of crafting materials in Fort Tarsus. Really? Guaranteed. You know why? Because our main competitor just closed up shop. Why'd they do that? I'm just learning the regulator game, but my Uncle Ronnie said... We made them an offer they couldn't refuse. My name's Serena. And I'm the manager. Well, what kind of store is this? It's a compound and alloy shop. Sometimes we get in other stuff. It's called Uncle Vani's, and my family owns it. Good to know. So don't forget, when you want quality, this is the store for you. Sure hope you come back and do some shopping. Freelancer. How goes the battle? Fighting a good fight. What I wanted to hear. How's the Thunder business? Good. Word's gotten around that freelancers are something special again. Tell them what we can. How'd you get into this work anyway, Prospero? It found me. Nothing in this world makes a statement like Shaper Relics. Talk about fearful awe. That's why they're so fascinating. No one knows how they work or why they even exist. Anything can happen. Oh, I know that. I've seen it firsthand. What happened? When I was young, maybe 18, I was an engineer for a trading caravan. One day we hear a rumor. They say a titan's been spotted in the area. We were young and stupid, so we got it in our heads that taking a titan down meant we wouldn't have to be traders anymore. I guess that's what being young is all about, taking risks. And sometimes they pay off. Well, I remember thinking, how hard can it be? So I might have been the dumbest of the bunch. So this Titan, it's leaving a trail of destruction and rumors wherever it goes. Biggest Titan anyone's ever seen. Weeks go by. We've tracked it all the way to the Western Pass, into the Great Expanse. Finally, we corner it in a valley. And that's when I felt it. Deep in the bones dread. It wasn't just one Titan. It was three of them, joined together. You're kidding me. All standing around a Shaper Relic, melding together. Right before my eyes, it was staring right at us. This gigantic thing that shouldn't exist took us all of 15 seconds to turn our strider around and never look back. But I did. I was mesmerized. It was powerful, fearful, 
awful. Then it pointed to the sky, and the thunder answered. It's a moment I'll never forget. It's amazing. I can't believe that happened. I know it did. That thunderclap? We felt it. So loud my eardrum blew out. Wow. That's why I do what I do. I sell the thunder. If every freelancer can invoke the same awe I felt that day, you'll win every time. Always fun talking to you, Prospero. See you later. Back at you. Not much. A freelancer escorting a strider called for help. Lost communication after that. What is the trouble? Who are the passengers? I know nothing. Ugh, I don't like all these questions. Yeah, let's get some answers. Found one. Not 
too far away. Cargo bay damaged. We've been dumping supplies for a while now. Half those tools could be anywhere. How's it looking? Bad. Cargo doors missing a hydraulic strut. Must have come off during the attack. Uh, Strider can't move like this. No. We're as good as dead out here. Oh, the ambush was back up the trail. All right, I'll run it down. to get inside the cargo bay. That's right. Mm. The weapon damage seems strange. Better than usual scar weapons. Lots of damage at the ambush site. Yeah? Any luck on finding the strider part? Not yet. That is curious. What? Lots of cargo has been left here. Scars take most everything. That is curious. They found the part. Not a small thing. It must be carried back the hard way. Just gotta get that welded. Must go 
any more woven. Good work. Still working on this. Just about done. Wait, we got more trouble on the way. Oh, big trouble. Kill that thing!
tries to scare you, but a freelancer does not back away so easily. This freelancer certainly doesn't. done? Yeah, should be good. Gotta get moving before anything else shows up. Okay, good luck. Looks like Freelancer Diggs and his passengers are on their way. When they get to Fort Tarsus, we'll have to sit down and hear more of what happened. Great. All right, my friend. <laughs> Good work.
Aha, uh -huh. back to talk. Very good getting Freelancer Diggs and his passengers on the path again. Striders are very reliable. Oh, no, I cannot say that with this straight face. Anyway, they need a big push when they stop. Glad I could help. So few of us. We need to stick together, even for those just passing through. I'll buy Diggs a drink when he gets to Fort Tarsus. Maybe the bar finally has some Fortuo brew. <laughs> that your favorite? Favorite? Listen, there is Fortuo brew and then there is Swill. You maybe tell me you prefer another drink. I would only feel bad for your sad life. Okay, then. Now I'm thirsty. You come back when you want contracts. Don't worry, 